Hey guys, Dabu7, Earthquake Update, and got some facts I want to share with you guys. Some game-changing information here that really lays it all out there and lets you see exactly where we're sitting when it comes to quakes. I have a lot of people asking me about patterns of quakes, uh, predictions, which are hard to make when it comes to quakes because they could spontaneously pop off at any point of the globe, given if, especially if it's a, if it, if it's a strike fault, a strike slip fault that can catch a huge chunk of earth it can cause a big quake but we've talked about a lot of these patterns before a lot of a lot of the quake activity being related to the sun and sun activity and overall the number of quakes that we've seen as far as normal quakes average quakes have been just that they've been average although some would think we've seen an uptick there has been an uptick though I'm going to share with you a startling number here that really defies all the rest of the information coming in because although it would seem that we're on the normal track here with earthquakes when it comes to average earthquakes and even the largest earthquakes you come to find out that there's a certain range that has seen a massive spike and no one seems to be talking about this now, before I reveal to you those numbers, I want to show you some of the most recent quake activity here across the globe. And these are areas that have common swarms that pop up like Chile. An area like this goes quiet. That's oftentimes when we see a larger quake pop up. But you'll see activity here off the, the Chile rise, which was a 6.1. It's been downgraded now to a 5.7. Here in the past 48 hours, 36 hours, we've seen activity down here on this ridge coming from the serpent's mouth, heading up this rise. They've hit all along this rise, all the way back to four days ago, all the way up here into this region, even coming out here on this part. When we see this, we end up seeing smaller quakes, and we did, popping up, say, Canada, Upper New England, around the New Madrid, Arkansas area, Missouri, smaller quakes popping up there. And sometimes you'll see them hit on the inside down here of this gulf versus the outside where they like to hit. Now, down here through the area of Costa Rica, I'll say this now, you have a lot of activity swarming on both sides, Southern California, Northern Colombia. Once you seem to go a good while with no activity along this ridge, I would expect a magnitude 5 to 6 or greater to pop off in this area, going all the way up into the Gulf of California. It's just how it seems to work. Energy, when they get quiet, energy builds up, and then once it releases, it it releases with a, with a bang. You could see that Turkey, Greece, seeing a lot of activity. This 5.4 being a rather large quake for Greece, and we've seen a 6.4 hit in the Afghanistan-Tajikistan border area. And that's a look at some of the quake activity across the globe. Now, when talking about these quakes, you're talking about 16 major quakes in November, an average per month. The large quakes are not increasing, and they have not been increasing since 2005. Maybe slightly here and there in, in, in a certain year or two, it may jump up, but the following year brings that back down. On average, we have not seen a massive spike. Although, I want to share with you information that I believe is just kind of shocking. It's looking over the past 115 years. They have 114 here. Going on 116, you'll notice by this graph, it states that the magnitude 6 to 6.9 earthquakes have risen by over 450% since 1900. That's kind of startling to me. We have something going on here where this range, this frequency of, of, of earthquake is popping off across the globe more so than any other quakes out there. I think that this is something to pay attention to and something that I haven't seen anyone else talking about yet. 
I'm going to leave links so you guys come over and study up on this, get some more information. But they go back in time tracking all this. And yes, when you're dealing with USGS and other places, if you've been following me, you know firsthand, there's been so many times that they'll take a big quake and downgrade it and downgrade it and downgrade it. And other times, quakes will not even show up on their map. Even ones they've had on there, over time, they'll disappear. We've caught them doing it time and time again. And even with information disappearing, the numbers still show that we have something happening on this planet. Something going on here in the past 100 or so years that has made these 6 to 6.9 earthquakes take a spike. And right now we don't have any answers as for what's causing it. Or if this is going to remain, if it's going to end up dying down, or if it's going to get worse. These are the numbers and what we know at this point. Wanted to share it with you guys. Good look at quakes globally. As we stated last night on Real Talk Live, and I'll say it again, everyone preparing for this big event to go down, I want you to just remember one thing. That the governments of this world would much rather have you running to them as saviors than running at them as an enemy. Any kind of false flag terror event is going to set the stage for a conflict that I don't think that they want necessarily. I think what they want is to be the heroes and have everyone running to them. And the one way they can achieve that is to have a massive natural disaster or man-made ushered in natural disaster that sends everything into chaos. Pop off a couple faults, massive flooding, landslides, you name it. You're going to have a disaster where they can lock things down. And like I said last night on Real Talk Live, forget worrying about Russian troops and Chinese troops jumping out of planes and Red Dawn happening. If there was a massive disaster in this country, they would reach out to the UN, all these other countries, and you would see Russian troops, Chinese troops, as part of a coalition of peace, come into this country without anyone saying a word, and they're going to be here in the name of peace to try to help people, help dig people out of landslides, out of all this craziness. You see, they could turn the tables, and the same people that you were envisioning fighting against, they're going to be sending them in here to allegedly help you all. And then they're here. Then they occupy the place. Then what are you going to do? Just a warning. The United States, I feel, is ripe for a big natural disaster event. One that very well may be ushered in by man. Expect it. 